And welcome to Arabology, coming to you from KZSU Stanford, 90.1 FM. I have with me in the studio today a very, very special guest, DJ. His name is DJ Kleis. Hello, Sala, DJ Kleis. Hello. Tifa Kilio. I know, I'm great. How are you? I am so happy because I've been touring the campus with you, DJ Kleis. Yeah, it's a beautiful campus. Uh, what is your opinion about the Stanford campus? Uh, historical? Yes. And? Uh, like, what did you like? I liked the, the, the buildings, the architecture that was really nice. And the new statues, those were those were cool. That's what I was going. Like, yeah. I, I saw you went to the Rodin statues. Yeah. And, and you saw the thinker. Yeah, I love... Uh, he has uh, weird proportions for the statues, <laughs> but I like them a lot. They were interesting. I agree. But I heard that when you were 11, you saw it before? Yeah, when I was in, in Paris, in, Lou, in the Louvre, uh, I saw the, the thinker. That's the only thing I remember. Wow. So when did you see it? When you saw it here, did it bring back like a flash of memories to you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I was even uh, seven. Seven, wow, not so 11. So even wow. younger, yeah. And how old are you now? I am 19. Mashallah, from 7 to 19. From 7 to 19, Life yeah. is starting to yeah. reoccur. DJ Kais, can you tell our listeners where you're from originally? I am from uh, Jordan. It's in the Middle East. And do you get people saying, where is Jordan? Because do you have to always say, like, a in lot. the Middle East? Yeah. Do they yeah. think Georgia or something? like? Yeah, they think sometimes it's in the U.S., <laughs> but then I have to explain where it is. <laughs> so this has been happening to me for 25 years. The yeah. So, <laughs> DJ Kais, being a young Arab music listener, has a special song for us today. But the song actually is going to be an old song that's been resurrected and remixed. Can you tell us a little bit about the song we're about to play, DJ Kais? Yeah, so the original one was uh, by Amr Diab. MashaAllah, yeah. my Amr Diab is my day before you were not born. Yeah, but uh, there was a remake, uh, there was a collaboration between Maya Diab and uh, French Montana. Oh, wow, Maya Diab and Amr Diab, they must be related. No, no, they're act- it's, it's weird. They're actually not, uh, even though they have the last name. That's so weird. You like know? 20 years later, Maya Diab does the remake of Amr Diab, but isn't related. She might have Diab. done the song because she only has the last <laughs> same wow, last she's name. She's like cashing in yeah. on the last name. <laughs> yeah. And of course, Amr Diab is an Egyptian singer, whereas Maya Diab is Lebanese. Yeah. But in the remake, she is joined by... French Montana. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty hot. It's an interesting mix, yeah. Wow. And it's still called Habibi Anur Adhan? Yeah. A little translation for our American listeners who don't understand what Habibi Anur Adhan mean. My love, the light of the eye, Bravo. kind of. Bravo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Anur. Shukran, shukran. Yeah, yeah, of course, in English, it sounds kind of weird. Like, yeah. you are the light of my eye. Yeah, word-to-word <laughs> translations from Arabic That's to English are weird. Hellwe, right? Yeah, but like uh, the very light of my two eyes. Okay, Qais, who would you like to dedicate the song Habibi Anur Adhan by Amr Diab and French Montana? Who are we dedicating it to today? Uh, I'll dedicate this song to uh, my family oh. who uh, came with me to America and uh, we've had a pretty fun trip together until now. Wow. Yeah. You know, this is going into the Stanford archive. You, in 20 years, they'll be able to hear you say oh, this. Oh, oh, and I'll, I hope I'll, I'll be happy to hear it in 20 years. <laughs> Habibi. So what's your mom's name? Uh, Dima. And your dad? Anwar. And your sister? Anud. And you are? Qais. And the song is? Uh, Habibi, Habibi Anud and Ayn. Yeah, we got the bang, got the bang, got the bang. One time for drinks, my Habibi. 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 Habibi.
is a special dedication from DJ Kleist to all our listeners here in the Bay Area listening on uh, KZSU 94.1 FM. I have to say that I am joined in the studio by Kleist's parents, very proud parents. I was hoping to get them on the air, but we're going to do a little salute to them. Assalamu alaikum. You should see these kids. I, you, did you take a picture of your parents, Kleist, through the window? Uh, yeah. yeah, because this is a moment to remember and not to mention that uh, Kleist's mother was my classmate and then became my sister. And that's why this is such a special day. French Montana and uh, uh, Lebanese singer Maya Diab and a duet called Habibi Anuradayn. It is a remake of the original by uh, Amr Diab, which was released back in the 80s. Shukran to DJ Kais. I am now joined in the studio by someone who's actually related to DJ Kais. And her name is so awesome. Is it DJ Al Anud or is it DJ Anud? Hello, hello, marhaba. Yeah, hello. How are you? We are good. What is your name, young lady? My name is Al Anud Dabas. I love that name. Thank Can you. Can we please explain how a first name could begin with an Al that everybody knows it means the? Because you are not just Anud. You are Al Anud, the Anud. Can you explain to us what your name means? Yes. Yeah, so my name actually has uh, several different meanings. One of them means the first uh, gazelle in a herd of gazelle. Um, also means. Um, hardworking, uh, but it also means stubborn as well. Oh my God. So you got a mix of all these meanings. Wow. Wow. I mean, you know, I, I, I love American names, but they don't mean much, right? Yeah. Somebody tells you, my name is Peter. What does that mean? Yeah. You know? But then you hear somebody called DJ Al Anud and you want to listen to more. Now, it's an Arabic name, is it? Uh, yeah. It's actually originally a Bedouin name. Wow. And you are originally from Jordan. Yeah, oh, I am. Oh, t- t- tell us a little bit about your experience of studying in the U.S. We know you just graduated. Yes, I did. Hey, so, so we do a little uh, mabruk. Uh, mabruk, mabruk. So mabruk. <laughs> she you just graduated and we are so proud of you. Thank uh, you. And you've been touring Stanford today, right? Yeah. But, but tell us a little bit about your experience of, you know, your university experience at Davis, right? Yeah. yeah it yeah. was at UC Davis. Um it's been actually amazing. Um very interesting. I had a lot of fun, met a lot of amazing people from all around the world. Wow. Honestly, I wouldn't change it for a thing. Uh, when I first came to Davis, honestly, I thought it was in the middle of nowhere. I thought I was coming to California, you know. Uh, I was like, where am I in the middle of nowhere? Uh, no ocean, no palm trees. And then slowly, slowly, as the days went on, Davis grew on me and now um, it's a second home. Do you feel sad about leaving? Um, it hasn't hit me quite yet because I think, you know, I haven't really packed the last yeah. of my things. So. Taza, taza. Taza, taza. I heard that you have a very catchy, addictive song that you want to dedicate today. To yes, I do. Tell us about it. What's it called? It's called Tlat Da'at. By Tlat Da'at. Yes. What's that mean? It uh, translates to three knocks. No, so, so we have to go like... Yes, exactly. Wow. wow. And yeah. you chose this song because it makes you happy. Yeah, and it reminds me of a fun summer I had back home during COVID, and oh, it's really? something that kept me going. So, yeah. Oh, so it's every time you hear three knocks, you Yeah, feel, exactly. Uh, wow, mashallah. <laughs> and, and who sings this song? So, it's fe- it, uh, it's Abu featuring Yusra. Yusra? Yes. The one and only Yusra. The one and only Yusra. How do you know Yusra? You weren't even born when you were Yusra's <laughs> mother. <laughs> How do we do we know who Yusra is? Yeah, she's actually considered uh, she's Egyptian and she's a glamour, glamorous icon for the Middle East who and she was also an actress and now she's also featured in the song. But I mean, you know, we shouldn't add to say her age maybe because she probably won't like it, but let's say she's over 80. Yeah, but she looks young as ever. And she's singing yeah. with Abu. 
Yeah. Who is like what? Her son's age, maybe. Probably. Mashallah. Yeah, the song is not like that. Yeah. Tayyib, uh, DJ Hanau, tell us who would you like to dedicate the song to? Um, I would also like to dedicate it to my mom, brother, and father because um, they helped me get through college and get to where I am today and put up with all of what I had to go through wow. and supported me through everything with my brother also coming in every now and then to annoy me in my own room. Of course, we <laughs> all need one of those. Exactly. You know? DJ Kleist, DJ Lanud, and their parents, Dima and Anwar Nawaru. Your father's Nawaru. name, Anwar exactly. Nawar Lelida. Anwar Nawar Lelida. Anwar Nawar Lelida. For Arabic listeners, they're going to understand it. I think it's hard to uh, translate Very. it in English. Yeah. All right. So, shall we go to three knocks? Yeah, we shall. Let the at. Let the at. Abu. Abu. With Yusra. Right here on KZSU Stanford, 90.1 FM. Yes, you Stanford 94.1 FM. I'm with me in the studio. Somebody who is like a son to me. The one and only Brandon C. Brandon, Alan Wasalam. Welcome to Stanford. Hello, Ramsey. Thank you for having me. I heard you drove all the way from LA just to be with us today. Oh, yeah. yeah. How, oh, how oh. was LA? LA was great. You know, I saw, the, <laughs> saw some old friends, had some fun. <laughs> and you drove all the way for your Uncle Ramsey today. I am so proud of you. I wouldn't you miss it. Thank you. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Because I hear you're going to be going to the Arab students graduation party today. It's going to be a momentous speech. And so what's your connection to the Arab world? You know, half half Palestinian and so half half Chinese. Wow. That's a great combination. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't relate to the Chinese part where I respect <laughs> it, but I don't know nothing about it. But hey, with the Arabic part, that's where you are really, my son. Yeah. And one of the things that I know you can do, Brandon C., oh, is no. count from one to ten in Arabic. Is that a rumor or is that true? That is, uh, that is true. Why don't we go Might for it? Might be a little rusty. Yalla. Yalla, Habibi. Yalla. Yalla. Wahad. Wahad. Nen. Late, Arba, Homse, Sete, Seba, Tamanye, Tissa, Ashara. Flawless. Flawless. That is my nephew, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to Brandon C. right here on the Airbaldi Show. Now, Brandon, I know there was a song you wanted us to play for our listeners today. What's that? Was it the Jay Z? Well, that already got played, though. Well, we yeah, could run well, it back, run it back, big pimp. Right, right, right. Exactly. Now, yeah. you said that you liked that song. Yeah, I was playing it on the way up. Before you even knew that it was like Abdel Halim Hafiz. Mm hmm. So, like, then you, I made you hear the original, and then I made you hear the remix in the car. Mm -hmm. Like, what did you think? There's something special about, like, that Arab sound, you know, it, it catches anyone's ear. It's big pimpin', baby. That's right. Big pimpin', spinning cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. You know what? It makes you want a depke, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, you know that our listeners here in the Bay Area aren't going to know what a depke is. Would you mind, Brandon, explaining what a depke is? They're, they're going to think it's a meal. <laughs> <laughs> depke, it's a, it's a sort of traditional dance. You do it at any sort of function with arrows, <laughs> have weddings, you, Have you done it, Brandon C? Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. I have the videos to prove it. <laughs> Brandon, when you play, I mean, he's such an... An Arab. When you play a depke, he can't sit down. He just gets up and brings everybody up, and we just start stomping away. It really, it really helps people like come out of there. 
their exactly. shell, you know. Right. Like even people who are usually like shy and whatever, you they hear a depth case, suddenly they're on the dance floor going, Whoa. Because you're just a piece of the puzzle, you know. Thank you so much, Brandon C for saying it the way it is. <laughs> I am so proud of you, kiddo. And we're gonna be doing a depth kill later on in Allah today. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for being my guest today on the Arabology show. Oh, anytime. All right, here's some depth for everybody. 